For this video, in grade seven mathematics, we'll be looking at the addition and subtraction of rational numbers. And in this example, we have 150% minus four over three, minus a half, plus 0, 0,79. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is let's try and simplify all these. And I think we're gonna work with fractions this time around. So if we simplify 150%, now per 100%, we're gonna write it as 150 over 100, minus four over three, here, the uh, numerator is larger and the denominator is smaller, minus a half. Plus, we have seven and nine, and here's our comma. This is our 10th position and our 100th position, so it's going to be 79 over 100. Now, what we need to do is to try and get a common denominator for all these fractions so that we can add and subtract these rational numbers. Now, three cannot go into 100 you're going to end up with a decimal. So we're going to have to make this denominator much bigger so that 100, 3, 2 can all go into the same value. So the most obvious common denominator here is going to be 300. So let's start with our first fraction. First, we have 150. Now to convert 100 to 300, we're going to multiply by 3. So therefore, the, the numerator, 150, multiply by three, 150 plus 150 is 300. 300 plus 150 will give us 450. Right, for the next fraction, we have four over three. Now to convert three to 300, we're gonna multiply by 100. So therefore, four multiplied by 100 means our numerator will be 400. Now moving on to the next fraction, we have minus a half, now to get a common denominator of 300. Two times 150 will give us 300. So therefore we must multiply the numerator by 150. So therefore we will have minus 150. For the last fraction, we will have a common denominator of 300. So to convert 100 to 300, we'll multiply by three. So we multiply the numerator by three. Now to try and, and work out the value of that, um, let's round it off to 80 first. 80 multiplied by 3 will give us 240. And then 240 less the 3 will give us 237. So 79 times 3 will be 237. There's a positive sign. So it'll be plus 237. Now to add and subtract all these numerators at the top here, we'll simplify it on the side. Let's work with the common signs first. So yeah, we have a negative and a negative. Now, when the signs are negative, we will add them together and the sign will stay the same. So 400 minus, well, negative 400 plus negative 150 will give us negative 550. Now we have positive signs. Let's first start with the 450. It's a positive sign. Now you'll see that the negative sign, 550 is a larger value, which means we'll have a negative. And 550 less 450 will give us 100, and we'll have a negative sign. And now we'll add 237. Here, 237 is a larger value, so the answer will be positive. And if we take 100 off 237, it will give us 137. So our final answer is 137 over 300. Thanks for watching this video for the addition and subtraction of rational numbers.